Ever since King Charles I lost his head in 1649 following the English Civil War with Parliament, British monarch's constitutional role has gradually ebbed away from the political. Now, Queen Elizabeth's role is to represent the country as a whole, steering clear of politics, despite her notional role of giving all legislation royal assent. Any intervention now would be the first time a monarch has blocked parliamentary legislation since Queen Anne vetoed the Scottish Militia Act in 1707. After the EU referendum, it was reported the Queen backs Brexit. But in response, Buckingham Palace said, the Queen remains politically neutral as she has for 63 years. The referendum is a matter for the British people to decide. But Eurosceptic Tory MP Mark Francois said the Queen still remains the final obstacle for Parliament to cross if it wishes to halt the Brexit process. Read more, price of Brexit mapped, how much would no deal Brexit cost the UK economy, as opposition backbench MPs have tabled amendments to the Prime Minister's Brexit deal in a bid to force the government to change course, the divide over the country's future is deepening. Mr Francois, deputy chair of the European Research Group, made the comments to radio host Julia Hartley Brewer on talk radio this morning. He said, some MPs, some very senior civil servants and others are basically conspiring, and I use the word deliberately, in order to try and prevent us from leaving the EU. They have never accepted the verdict of the British people in the referendum. They think the British people made some horrendous mistake or didn't know what they were doing, and it's their job to save the people from themselves. And I think the more that becomes obvious, as it will over the next few days and weeks, I think the angrier people will get with their MPs, or any MP who goes along with it. Ms Hartley Brewer agreed, adding, the reality is, in terms of any attempt to control the business in the House of Commons, the Speaker, who's clearly a Remainer and made it very clear that he is, they'd still need to pass an act of Parliament to stop us leaving on the 29th March. That act of Parliament would only be law if it had royal assent. Read more, what is the Brexit backstop? A really simple guide the Queen, of course, gives Bill's royal assent. Ms Hartley Brewer asked, do you think it's going to come down to the Queen protecting Brexit and saving Brexit, Mr Francois responded, well, under our constitution the monarch is the ultimate constitutional backstop. But I think we want to avoid a position where we ask Queen Elizabeth II to have to take an incredibly difficult decision. The people took a decision and I think all MPs are honor-bound to vote for it.